Hello and congratulations on getting access to this video course on Facebook page likes. Now, I want to make sure that you understand that this is not just about generating likes, which can in turn help you create more social proof, which leads to authority and all, all that good stuff. This goes beyond that. This also helps you with engagement levels, which Facebook, when they look at your Facebook fan page, Obviously, they care a lot about how people interact with your page and how good of an experience that they have. But I'm going to talk more about that. We're going to talk about how to utilize all of what we're going to teach you to create a winning strategy. You see, a lot of people tend to make the mistake of running ads in a tier one country immediately. So we're going to talk about that in just a minute. But a tier one country is basically like the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and a lot of the big countries that have big economic growth. So this is video number one, and let's first talk about mindset, quality versus quantity. Now, I know this might seem like a no brainer, but this is actually something that is commonly overlooked when it comes to this topic. A lot of people have this misconception that they can buy Facebook fan page likes and get a bunch of fans. Now that might have been the case back in the day, but if you do that, unfortunately with Facebook, you can get your Facebook fan page banned or totally removed. And you don't want that. You want to make sure that you get quality likes. In other words, it's better to have highly targeted quality likes, a thousand of them, versus 50,000 fan page likes. So that's what we're going at here and we'll, we'll dive into it in a lot more detail in just a minute. But I want you to realize that whenever you drive quality traffic and quality likes, it's gonna cost you a little bit of money, all right? So that's just a, a quick reality check. It's not gonna cost you several hundreds or thousands of dollars, it's just gonna cost you about 50 to $100. So you need to keep that in mind whenever dealing with Facebook ads is going to cost money. Now, the downside with targeting tier one countries in terms of Facebook likes is it can cost a lot of money. It can cost anywhere from 10 cents to 50 cents a like to even several dollars. So how are we going to get around this? The strategy here is that we're going to be using and targeting tier two and tier three countries to achieve these goals. Now, what do I mean by that? Tier three are third world countries like Bangladesh and uh, all, a lot of other ones. We'll list them out just so you can see them. Tier two countries are countries that are having economic growth, but it's just not a tiered one. So tier twos are great, but tier three, the best thing about it is that a lot of these countries, when they log on to Facebook and they see an image that they like, even if they don't totally like it, they're going to like it. They're going to engage with you. So the tier three will actually help you in terms of increasing your engagement level which is very important to Facebook because they want to know, is your Facebook fan page generating a good user experience? Now, bear in mind that back in the day, if you bought 10,000 Facebook fan page likes or people who like the page, most of those people just sat, right? They didn't do anything. So that is why this is more beneficial than that. Now you might be asking, well, isn't this going to dilute the quality because we talked about quality versus quantity? Well, here's the reality check. It doesn't matter where you are located. A person with similar commonalities, whether they're in Bangladesh or United States or UK or wherever, they think like each other. Think about people who go through similar pains. Maybe they go through similar sickness like autoimmune diseases they all have the same, very, very same, maybe not exactly the same, but very, very similar pains, roadblocks, desires that they wanna get better and all that, right? So similar when it comes to maybe sports or hobbies, somebody who likes a specific sport may deal with the specific and similar pains and all that. So even though you're testing it out in a tier three country, 
that's the that's the mindset that you need to have that the images that you test the content that you test and all that you test is if it works really well in that country the likelihood of it working well in the united states or a tier one country is going to be high now we're going to talk more about that in those videos but for now let me go over and give you a quick overview of what's inside this course so video number two we're going to talk about why you want to have targeted likes we talked briefly about this but i'm going to expand on that and open your eyes to how that really will take things to the next level video number three we'll talk about how to use likes to win in many of those areas so we elaborate a little bit on video two we go into more depth in video number three video number four we're going to talk about how to create five minute content so in order to create more engagement you're going to need to have content right so i'm going to show you a simple trick to create content that actually resonates with your audience but is super simple to create video number five we'll talk about how to kill two birds with one stone and video number six, we'll talk about uh, the likes ad campaign, which brings us to the like ad set and the likes ad. So video six, seven, and eight, those are just the steps that you need to take to actually run an ad campaign. Now here's what you're going to need. You're gonna to need to have a minimum of 50 to $100. Bear in mind, you will most likely you'll start out with three to five cents alike. But as time goes on and you improve your campaign, you can generally speaking, get it down to one, two or three cents. So with that in mind, you can get the calculator and multiply that and see and get an idea of how many actual likes that you'll get. Now you will need to have some money to purchase tools to create content fast. Otherwise, if you don't really have that money, you can also do it for free and I'll show you how to do that and give you pointers on that. You also need to have a fan page and a good idea of who your ideal customer is, their problems, their desires, their wants, their demographics. What do they do? What do they not like doing? What do they look like? Those are very, very crucial when it comes to this because this will allow you to target people at least get an idea for now and as you get the data you will begin to uh, paint a better picture of what they actually look like all right so let's move on to video number two 